Okay, we moved over to the other end of the house here. You can see we have some cast iron. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it does go out the wall uh, down in PVC. Uh, we are going to go ahead and televise uh, through. We fit through a little clean out here. You see a little build up. You can see we do have a calcite buildup uh, in this line. Here's where it changes to PVC. Okay, we believe at this point that we're actually outside of the house. As you can see, we have a little belly in the line here, it appears. Okay, now it's turned and we believe this is going to be running towards the septic tank. Uh, what we're going to look for at this point is a Y. Uh, again, you can see we're holding a little water here. Trying to see if we can find the Y that picks up the other end of the house. As you can see, we're, we can advance our camera, but we really don't have a visual. Okay, here you can see uh, it's 122 feet from this location to the tank. As you can see, this line pretty much holds water almost all the way throughout. Uh, we are going to go ahead and pull back at this time. Uh, we'll attempt to see if we can locate that Y, uh, but it is possible due to the water that sits in that we're not able to, uh, able to get a location on that Y. But as you can see, it appears there's only one line that comes into the tank. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. Um, we're going to mark this about every 20 to 25 feet uh, just to see where this line runs. As you've seen when we pushed in, um, it is holding uh, quite a bit of water. Uh, when we pull back, we might be able to get a better view. Okay, we're going to pull back at this time. <clears throat> we're going to mark in about 20 foot increments. 
again, as you can see, we really don't have much of a visual. Uh, we are laying on the bottom. It is only four inch pipe. Uh, so this much water usually indicates that we have a very large belly in the line where it actually holds uh, water. Okay, we have actually located this 20 feet and we are very close to the Y, uh, probably within five feet or less <coughs> of where the Y would be that ties in the other side of the house. Again, we're gonna continue to pull back uh, to the 20, every 20 feet and mark the line and try and get a depth reading on it. Uh, at the, the first location was four foot two right by the tank. The second location was two foot 11, which is actually the same number of the line that was coming from the other side of the house. Okay, we've been marking this line. <clears throat> uh, runs fairly straight. Um, we are finding that unfortunately after the first mark, which was four foot two, which there's also a grade change by the tanks, uh, all our other marks at this point have all read two foot 11 the entire way through. We're gonna pull back to around the 40 foot mark. We are going to locate that. Um, 20 feet will actually put us inside of the house. Here you can see we actually have pitch at this point and we actually have a visual. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mark this area and then uh, we'll possibly mark around 30 feet as well. Okay, we've marked this. As you can see, this is our first area we had visual. Uh, when we did locate this area, we were actually two foot five. Um, so we do have good pitch to this point. Uh, we measured from the house roughly out to where the flag is. And it's approximately about 20 feet. So we're gonna come back 10 feet, do another mark. And then at that point, uh, we'll be done with locating. We'll just go ahead and pull completely out. There's our turn right there. Okay. So let's see, we were we were 50 Why feet. Why we mark that? Right there where it turns. Does, does, does that make some sense? Because yeah. it's got to be almost straight. After yeah, that. after that it's got to be straight. So yep. let's just mark. Okay. Let's we'll come back a couple of feet. We'll mark it right there. 